Bro, imagine going on a first date, right? <laughs> and you and you only have your bike. Not only are you gonna be late, but when you pull up, you're gonna be drenched in sweat. Like imagine, bro, or imagine the imagine the girl with you, bro, like, and you have to pull her on the pegs. Yeah, yeah, she, she on the pegs, bro. And then, and then imagine you hit a bump. <laughs> you hit a bump, and she fall off the bike. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Nah, nah, game over, bro. <laughs> game, game over. Yo, yo, my stomach hurt, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> oh shit. Chin. good youtube it is your boy lsg melly and i'm bringing you guys part two of some drunk would you rather my liquor of choice today is Hennessy huh huh <laughs> yeah, i'm off to a bad start already bro Hennessy pure white you can't even get this in america bro that's that's crazy this shit is really strong i see why it's not sold here now I'm just, the crime rate was, was skyrocket if it was sold out here. And then we got some Long Island iced tea. The strongest of teas. That was corny. Um The first video I made of this, um, it didn't do well view-wise compared to my other videos. But I'm making this. I'm doing a part two because my girl, my girlfriend really enjoyed it. And fuck it. <laughs> you know? She enjoyed this, so I'll make it. Um, if this does get a lot of good views and 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 and, 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 and <laughs> I forget what I was about to say, honestly. But if this does well, like better than the first video, I'll make this into a series. But without further ado, we about to hop into this thing. If you guys have liked anything I've dropped thus far, please like and subscribe, turn notification bell on. Yeah. Um let's get started i was honestly about to get mad because i thought my microphone wasn't recording i peeped to the right and i see it's moving so we're good we're in business okay first question of this is would you rather have your entire life made into a movie or have your entire life written into a book well it is 2023 and i bet some of you can't even remember the last time you picked up a book so i'm gonna make my life into a movie because at least they, they can they can like they can like tweak with it and make it lit you know they can make shit blow up i don't think i've ever seen an explosion in my life besides fireworks but they can make some shit blow up like <sighs> just, just, just random random shit to make my life seem way more lit than it actually is so i'm gonna go and make my life into a movie let me see how many people pick this this option see this is the best option what the hell you feel me um would i like to always be cold or always be hot this is actually a way more harder question up uh, uh, this is actually a way harder question than you i i can honestly like okay 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 let's see i think i would rather always be cold I, I would rather always be cold because i can just put stuff on to be warm and plus when i'm like um no nah i'm gonna go with always be cold because i can just put layers on to make myself like not cold anymore but as far as always be hot do you know how hard it is to make yourself not hot air conditioners aren't always accessible and even when you don't wear a lot of clothes you're still hot bro so it's like i would rather just be i would rather always be cold i i don't know yeah that's the smartest yeah yo 
that 66 percent i fuck with y'all 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 my y'all my homies for real would i rather always be the center of attention or always be an observer i personally hate attention um as someone who grew up getting made fun of a lot attention is the last thing i want like like hell no nah, i'm traumatized give me just let me observe some shit you feel me i don't hell no nah. yeah <laughs> yo i really fuck what you got yo all right all right they said would you rather it always rain or always snow give me rain bro as someone who lives in new york city our snowstorms are short-lived like yeah it looks pretty when it's falling down yeah yeah but when when the um when sanitation starts rotting past throwing the black ice down this shit just looks disgusting like have you ever seen new york after its snowstorm it, they don't even give us a, a day to really enjoy it they're already paving the roads and throwing down the salt that turns the ice black the snow black it looks disgusting then on top of that you got the you got the um the 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 what's that what's that truck called what's the what's the 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 the, the, the pushy the pushy thingy majigger they push it they push the snow all in one corner and it piles up like tall as a damn building bro and they got us hurtling over that shit like we're doing like we're in the fucking olympics hell no nah, i'm not hell no bro bro new york snowstorms or snow it's it's it's, it's a nightmare and then you gotta go to work in it oh uh uh hell no nah. give me rain bro yeah okay this was this was closer but rain took it okay would i be would you rather lose the ability to talk or lose the ability to hear damn bro i think i will want to lose the ability to talk sometimes i don't be having shit to say anyway bro like i be feeling like lately when i open my mouth to talk to people it's forced i don't care to talk to people bro like i'm not necessarily an introvert because i'm a i'm a people person like i love having good conversations with people i even start conversations but i don't care to talk like if i could honestly live my life silent like a mute i wouldn't i, I don't think i'd lose sleep at night i wouldn't be depressed but imagine not being able to hear bro be not being able to hear like bro and <laughs> bro living in new york city bro you need to hear bro like because the amount of shit people talk you're gonna want to hear that shit to defend yourself like you're gonna want to hear that shit like <laughs> yo son imagine imagine you bump into somebody by accident and they turn around and be like hey yo what the fuck yo suck my dick nigga. like bro you that like, you telling me you're not gonna want to hear that someone blatantly starts disrespecting you you don't you, know, you telling me you're gonna just like not hear that bro hell no nah. i'm gonna want to hear that shit dog like, i don't know man i don't know I, I i don't care to speak i be having a lot of shit to say sometimes but i still don't talk so i'm i'm yeah 78 percent. that shit blew that one out the water would you rather travel to a new destination each year or revisit your favorite destinations repeatedly each year? This is a no-brainer, bro. Travel to a new destination each year. Bro, that's that's actually a dream of mine anyway. So like that that just made the that just made the shit easier. Um would you rather always be two hours late or two hours early? Well, as someone who's in a predicament right now with my job, like currently i have to go meet with my job because all my latenesses have been piling up so they want to meet with me to see why i'm late so much i'm not fired but they want to they, they just want to know what's wrong with the kid so it's best to just be two hours early bro like it's just be, just be two hours early like take it from me someone who's always late to work that shit starts getting your job that's just that shit starts getting under your job skin bro 
You might be like, oh, I don't give a damn. I could just get another job, bro. Job hunting is hard. It's not as easy to get a job as you think, bro. It, getting a job is hard. But honestly, I'd be, I'd be at work looking for a new job. Like, I don't care. <laughs> the, yo, the, every time my job pissed me off, I'd be right on Indeed or I'd be right on... um. I'd be right on Google, just Googling different jobs and shit, bro. Work from home jobs. I want to work from home jobs so bad, but getting off topic. I'm getting off topic. Um, just be, just be early, guys. Damn, the liquor really got me chatting right now. See, 84%. See, these people are smart. Would you rather win the lottery or find true love? Okay. I already know a lot of people are going to win the lottery. Um, and that's honestly the best answer. Um, I'm gonna go win the lottery as well. I think I have found my true love already. Yeah, I would I would think I found my true love. She gets on my fucking nerves, but I think I found my true love, bro. If you're watching this, you, know, <laughs> you get on my nerves. But you know that I I, I, I tell you this shit all the time. I don't I don't hide it. I, it ain't a secret. But yeah, win the lottery is the best choice though. Like if if I was single. I would pick win the lottery see a lot of people are going to answer this from a single standpoint even if you're in a relationship and you're happy or you're married and you're happy you're gonna still pick this bro because if you already found your true love you're gonna this is the only option left this is gonna be the i bet you this option blows this out the water bro i didn't blow it out the water but you know it did win it's no brainer um would you rather have no electricity or have no indoor plumbing? <laughs> Bro, have you ever seen a family when the Wi-Fi goes out? I swear that shit turns into a zoo. That shit turns into like a UFC, um, like, like, you know, the weigh-ins when they be talking shit to each other, when they be face to face and shit. Bro. The family, like a family with no electricity, I swear to you, bro, that is the funniest, most dramatic shit you will ever see in your life. Everybody sitting here playing the blame game, like, yo, what did you do to the Wi Fi? What did you do to the Wi Fi? Like, oh, uh, what a fridge, all the food spoil. Oh my gosh. Like, yo, you ever seen a blackout? Yo, bro. <coughs> If you've ever experienced a blackout, that shit's depressing, bro. Especially, have you, oh my gosh, bro. Have you ever had a blackout in the damn summertime? Bro, a blackout in the summertime is like, that shit is like, I, I, that shit is like what I would imagine hell to be like. And I'm not even being dramatic, bro. Cause first of all, you under your nice AC and the and like what's with your light on or your TV on, the next thing you know, the shit just go dark and then the AC go off. And then as soon as the AC go off, you immediately start feeling the heat like creep up on your skin, bro. You immediately start sweating, bro. That is depressing. I've had two blackouts. No, I've experienced I think three blackouts during the summer because it be so hot and everybody in my building be cranking their ACs up to the max. And they be short circuiting the whole building, bro. And there ain't nothing else to do but go outside because it, the blackouts always seem to happen at night. I don't know why they happen at night. So it ain't shit to do but leave. And then you leave. And, and, and mind you, the best thing to do is leave because I guarantee you it's hotter in your building than it is outside. So you might as well just go outside and play basketball or re or sit on a bench or some shit, bro. Like that's your that's your best option, bro. So I would rather uh, I still but having in no indoor plumbing, bro. Where am I gonna take a shit? Where am I gonna do? Where am I gonna pee? Where I see I, I I'm a guy, I'm a man. I know women piss outside too. Especially when I get really drunk. Y'all don't give a damn where y'all pee at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> y'all be like, hey, 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 can y'all two stand in front of me while I pee? You feel me? Like, y'all don't care. But shitting, though? Shitting? I can't just shit anywhere, dude. Uh, I would... I would rather... 
I will find a way. I, I will I will go to like a McDonald's, my nearest McDonald's or or a relative's house to take a shit, bro. Fuck that. I'd rather have no indoor plumbing. Yeah, yo, we're all yeah, that yeah. Would you rather be able to see the future but be able to change it or change the future but unable to foresee the consequences? I'm gonna change the future, but be but but be unable to see foresee the consequences because me personally, I only want to see into the future so I can make some good picks on FanDuel. Like I think I made a joke like this back in the first video. Look, FanDuel, bro, that's the only thing I really want to see into the future about is FanDuel. Like, if I could see what picks to make, I'd be a billionaire right now, dude. They will have to ban me from the app, like realistically, because I I will win every time I get on the app. I will play, I will look into the future and see different picks every day, and I will take notes, and then I will come back to the past. And now every day, I just put up money, bro. Put up money. I will put my whole life savings on one on on a few picks and win a million. And <laughs> you shitting me? Hell yeah. Oh, this one actually lost. I don't care, bro. I I I only want to use it for FanDuel. Would you rather be a leader and make decisions for others or be a follower and let others make decisions for you? I would rather be a leader and make decisions for others. I hate being told what to do. Being told what to do is honestly my pet peeve. That's why I want to make it on YouTube or as a streamer or just just making reels and shit, making making my own money as my own boss. This is like I really bounce around from job to job to job because I hate getting told what to do, especially if you have a supervisor that's a dick. You have a supervisor? Hell no, bro. Have you ever had a supervisor that's really a dick though? Like, I'm talking about like a petty dick, not just a dick, a petty dick. Pause. Like, bro, they they nitpick everything, bro. They they want their way. They don't get it. They write you up like suck my balls bro like fuck out of here dude i'm gonna um i'm gonna be a leader and, and make decisions for others bro uh, this, yeah this blue is out the water who the hell wants to be told what to do hell no nah. would you rather have a great memory or a great sense of humor i already have a bad memory but a great sense of humor i laugh at everything i i'm a com like i am a complex yet simple person to make laugh like there are a lot of simple shit that like i'm pretty sure a lot of you can relate to this too simple shit makes you laugh but then certain simple shit doesn't but you got some really complex shit that only a few can understand and which is why it's so funny because others don't get it you feel me so i would rather i would have i would rather have a great sense of you my memory is already ass i don't remember i can't even remember what i can't even remember what i like what i had for breakfast yesterday dude or I, sometimes I'll be forgetting how old I am. Like, that's sad. That is. <laughs> that is fucking sad, bro. I know I'm going to have Alzheimer's in the future or dementia, one of them shits, because I'm practically having it now. Um, would you rather have no interest or have a personal. Have no personal vehicle? Oh, that said. In, bro, it said no internet. I said interest. Oh my gosh. Put the liquor down, guys. Um. Uh, well honestly guys i don't even have a car <laughs> like i uber everywhere uber everywhere i uber everywhere guys like i don't have a car and and living in new york city is see I, bro i got the train and uber i got so much means of transportation out here i don't even need a car bro but I am gonna get a car soon because I just need a car. Like, but no internet is fucking crazy. If I didn't have any internet, I wouldn't even be able. To, I'm not. I wouldn't even be able to make this video for you guys. You feel me? I wouldn't even be able to make half the cons. Anything, YouTube reels, all this shit is used by making internet. So we're gonna use. We're gonna have no personal vehicle. Yeah, this one. This that one. That one. I didn't even get a chance to see the rest of it. Would you have to have to take a bike everywhere or have to rely solely on public transportation? D 
these are no-brainer questions bro see honestly i would do the bike everywhere um nice in the springtime like i would love to bike everywhere in the spring you know because that's that's great exercise great cardio bro but bro when you got sh when you got places to be bro the bike man imagine trying to go on <laughs> bro imagine going on a first date right <laughs> <laughs> bro imagine going on a first date right <laughs> and you and you only have your bike not only are you gonna be late but when you pull up you're gonna be drenched in sweat like imagine bro or imagine the imagine the girl with you bro like and you have to pull her on the pegs yeah yeah she, she on the pegs bro and then and then imagine you hit a bump <laughs> you hit a bump and she fall off the bike <laughs> oh my gosh bro nah nah game over bro <laughs> game, game over yo yo my stomach hurt bro <laughs> oh my gosh <coughs> oh shit bro i just started drooling bro and i'm crying bro oh my gosh we're gonna <laughs> Nah, that was funny, bro. I don't care. I don't care, bro. All right, we're gonna do two more and then we're gonna end this, bro. <laughs> Whoa, that is funny. That is, <laughs> bro, that just made my day, bro. Would you rather have a photographic memory or be able to forget anything at will? Oh. Oh, I love this one. I'm this is a no brainer for me, bro. All right, see, having a photographic memory has its benefits. Like, like back in school days, bro, you wouldn't even need your notes, bro. You take a test and you get a hundred every time. Well, unless you were, unless you weren't paying attention, but there have been times where I've been staring at the the, the board and not realizing what the fuck I'm looking at, bro. Like seriously there have been a lot of times where i'm looking at the teacher and everything they're saying to me just sounds like a bunch of bullshit like i don't know what they be talking about and i don't be knowing what they're writing so a photographic memory will come in handy but i mean being able to forget anything i will see that's where a lot of depression stems from bro like a lot of people be depressed because like shit that happens to them they can't forget it you know and it makes them depressed or you can legitimately be years years away from something traumatic and you'll be out having a good time and just randomly remember something that depressed you like when you were like 12 and all of a sudden you just feel upset because that's happened to me a lot of times so i would love to be able to forget anything at will bro you guys are tripping bro man i don't know you guys are tripping um all right last one guys would you like to, would you rather have all the power in the world or have all the knowledge in the world oh these these kind of go hand in hand if you think about it but i'm gonna go with all the power in the world because having a lot of power comes with a lot of things bro that i will enjoy um i don't really have no explanations for these like i have for the other ones I'm just gonna go with all the power in the world. This one lost. <laughs> Shit. All right, guys. This is gonna be the end of it. Um, I made. I somehow managed to make a 23-minute video off of a Would You Rather game. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it because I enjoyed myself. This was hilarious, bro. I, bro, that that bike question. I don't know what came over me, but that was just funny. That was that was bro that was the funniest thing i think i've i've like thought about or like joked about in a while bro 
Like, man. Woo. But without further ado, guys, we're about to end this video. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. If you would like to see a part three of this, spam that like button. Don't spam the view. Yo, there has been a mosquito biting the shit out of me, bro. Mind you, my window is closed. How did he get in here? I, I, I legitimately think in the middle of the night, he came, he picked the window up, came in, closed it, and just been biting the shit out of me, man. But what I'll, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.